The following broadcast is brought to you by the friends and partners of Revival Ministries International. You might not know how God is going to give you that miracle that you've been believing it for. But he will. Amen. And it'll happen suddenly. A suddenly is like when you didn't expect it. in the way that you didn't expect it. You know, my wife and I had a miracle take place from the most unlikely source. And uh, right before we left for Africa, I, I suddenly needed $50,000. So I get to Accra and I'm preaching and talk about the ravens. And while I'm preaching on the ravens, the devil says, you need one. And we, how are you going to get it here in Africa? Because of the exchange rate is so huge. How, how would it even come? It's impossible. I said, so I'm preaching and under my breath, I'm going to shut up, shut <laughs> up. Was there big ravens in Africa? <laughs> huge. Pastor Allen thought they were penguins, but uh, <laughs> they kept flying off. I said, Pastor Allen, these penguins are flying. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you, by the end of the weekend, not only did the Lord meet the miracle out of Africa, the money was sent to my wife and myself, $50,000, which, let me tell you, that's impossible. So I'm, I'm standing there thinking, that, because I mean, I know there's no way you're going to get a miracle here in the natural. And the Lord said, oh, really? And the devil's telling me, uh, you, you, you need a raven. Where, where's your raven coming from? I said, you shut your trap right now. <laughs> I hear the flap, flap, flapping of flying penguins coming, <laughs> bringing in the provision. So... Was I shocked? I was more than shocked. There was no ways in the natural. No, not in a hundred million years that the miracle could come in Africa, but it did. So I want to encourage you here today. There's people, you're looking at the natural, you're looking at everything in the natural, and you're wondering how this thing can even happen. God, will, God can do it in the most unusual places. If God has to send flying penguins in to bring them the provision. Are you with me? God can do what is impossible. Right. Amen. So how many have already seen miracles happen this month? Well, get ready because it's not over yet. Can you say amen? So I just want to read a passage and then give you an opportunity to sow seed here today. And I want to go back to Second Chronicles chapter 32 because this has to do with your enemies. 
God will deal with your enemies. He will not only bless you, but he will deal with your enemies. Who has some enemies out there? Okay, well, you, you're to bless your enemies. Amen. I know that's not what you want to do. Amen. In the natural, you'd like to deal with them. But look at verse 21. The Lord sent an angel which cut off all the mighty men of valor. You know, that's what Erica said she felt on Wednesday night was an angelic being. The Bible says, are there not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who are heirs of salvation? The fact of the matter that God not only will send an angel in front of you to deal with your enemies, but he'll send an angel in front of you to deal with your provision. That even while you're sitting in church right now, angels are working on your behalf to bring in supernatural provision. Supernatural provision. So the, God sent an angel which cut off all the mighty men of valor and the leaders and the captains of the king in the camp of the king of Assyria. So he returned with shame of face to his own land. And when he was come into the house of his God, they that came forth of his own bowels slew him there with the sword. In other words, you can see that happening even now. It's like the enemy's turning on himself. I'm watching that take place. I watched that across Africa. You know, it's one thing to, uh, for three years, talk about the situation taking place in countries in Africa. Then you get there and you find out exactly what's taking place. I was supposed to meet with the president of Namibia and he had to fly out suddenly the day we arrived. But the Lord opened up for me to meet the mayor of the city of Vintuk. And I spent several hours with him. And you, I mean, telling you what God is doing in Africa is remarkable. And so, of course, you know, I warned him about the Chinese. I said, they're taking over your country. As I came out of the mayor's office, sitting there is the ambassador from China to Namibia. So I, they want to meet me. So I shake hands with them. And I said, man, he said, what do you do? I said, I have a company that kills viruses. It's a machine that kills the viruses that come from China. I had to. I'm sorry. You know. So he said, in other words, you have a company that's a very healthy company. I said, yes, we have to protect the people. So, of course, I didn't go into anything else. I was laughing. I thought, what are the chances here that I end up in the mayor's office and I'm going to meet the ambassador from China to Namibia? Let me tell you, they're failing. Whatever the enemy is trying to do, he is failing miserably. I saw it happen in South Africa. I saw it happen in Zambia. I saw it happen in Namibia. I saw it happen in Accra. It's like people, people have just said, okay, that's it, we're done. So whatever they want to implement, because there's other lockdowns that they want to do. There's certain things they want to do. You see, look at the banks that are failing right now. I mean, you've seen the bank failing. I mean, I, I was still in the, in the train derailment moment. I haven't even taken the train derailments off my tree. And now we're in the bank failures thing. I mean, Somebody said, well, what if banks fail? What if they do? God does, God's not dependent upon the bank. God's got nothing to do with them stinking banks. God is your source and he is your supplier. If you go back and you look at the time of the months of the heaps, they, whatever banking institution they had, whatever source that they had, everything failed. But yet God caused the multiplication to come to his people. So an angel of the Lord is going ahead of you this week. This week, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, the angel of the Lord goes ahead of you and makes the crooked palm straight. Not only to protect you in the way, not only to protect you in your way of obedience and service, but also to provide for you. So there'll be a Monday angel providing, 
a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, and Saturday. And then next Sunday, we're going to have testimonies of what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. 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 When I got to Namibia, some idiot texted me on my Instagram and said, so you're going to tell those people in Africa, the poor people in Africa, about heaps. I actually wasn't, but I, I got up and I said, the devil spoke to me and gave me the title for my message this morning. <laughs> I hear last week we had a lunatic here who wanted to stand. I'm not here, and he wants to stand and mouth his mouth off about us teaching people about sowing and reaping. Let me tell you. I learned this in Africa. I didn't learn this in America, Jack. I learned this in Africa. When we started out of the ministry, we didn't have anybody to help us or support us, but we learned about the principles of sowing and reaping. Somebody said, you can't preach this everywhere. Yes, you can preach it everywhere because the word works everywhere. I couldn't believe it. I take a Sunday off and some jackass gets up and wants to shout. I thought, what in the world? <laughs> of course, you handled it great. You just had everybody worship God. Nobody heard his croaking voice on the background. So I got up. You can imagine the church's face when I said, where was it that I did that? Was it Accra? Yeah, yeah. I said, I, I, the devil gave me the title for my message right now. Was that Namibia? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I wasn't going to, but the devil just spoke to me and gave me the title because he said, you people are poor, and he didn't want me to even talk about this here. And they all laughed. <laughs> the devil should just shut up. You know, I only had, what, really two services. So, I mean, there's a limited amount of what you can deal with. I wasn't going to address it there, but I thought, seeing the devil was so upset about it. And then, you know what, they'd been watching. So, when I mentioned heap, the whole place, heaps, heaps. <laughs> they were already watching. How do you know what God's going to do with you and for you this week? Even if you wrote it down, he'll do exceedingly abundantly. Amen. How do you know what's about to come into your hands this week? Amen. What if God so overwhelms you this week that you don't even know how you, you just what if, what if you were so overwhelmed by the blessing of heaven this week that you actually sat speechless? People think that God has arms that are just short. <laughs> I'd love to help you, son, but, but I can't. I know you need a miracle, but other people need one too. And I, uh, I know you need a breakthrough. Why, why is it that people think that God's sitting in heaven actually crying out because he needs a breakthrough? <laughs> the all-sufficient one. El Shaddai. The God that is more than enough. <laughs> 
God, that's more than enough. I know when you look at me, you think the devil doesn't try to attack me. He did. He did. I mean, I was up preaching, and he said, oh, you need a raven? There ain't no raven coming to you here in Africa. <laughs> I said, if you, if you remember correctly, that's where the ravens first came to me was in Africa. I'm back on home territory now. Come here with your nonsense. So let me prophesy over you this week shall be a week of the unusual and the overwhelming that will leave you speechless. That's what I feel in my spirit about this week. Between now and next Sunday morning, hallelujah. Get ready. Amen. I said, get ready. Amen. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. One of the things that I found out, you know, when you exhaust all of what you, what you think is the way the Lord's going to do it. And then God takes you another way. And you think, well, I, I never planned to even go down this road. I, I didn't even plan to take this route. And then suddenly he brings you into another place. He brings you. And Adonica actually said that, I can't remember now how many weeks ago, but you said the Lord was bringing this church and bringing this people into a wealthy place. If you remember that. When you got up and said, that God's bringing you into a wealthy place. So somebody said, well, that road, that road just, I'm not sure. I wasn't even planning to gonna go. I wasn't planning to go down that road. But yet you go down the road and then you find yourself. You find yourself right in the middle of what God has prepared for you. It was unexpected. You didn't expect that. You expected blessing, but you didn't expect it to come that way. Are you with me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you trust him. You just trust him. Say this out loud. Say, I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I trust you with my life. I trust you in everything that I do. You are my source. You are my supply. I thank you in this month of the heaps. This first month that I see your hand and your goodness and your grace. Regardless of what's happening in the world, the banks may fail, but you never fail. Things might go down for the world, but I'm part of your kingdom, and I'm going from glory unto glory. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands and just thank him for it. The most unlikely places, from the most unlikely source, and you'll see his hands. Praise God. Let's pray and let's believe God for miracles to take place. We've got a lot of calls coming in from all over, which we'll be praying before we go off the air. Please keep calling the number on the screen. Father, as your people get ready to sow seed today, thank you for increased blessing and multiplication. Lord, you know exactly what your people need. If you could bring me a miracle in Africa, you can bring them a miracle anywhere. And I thank you for, let this, be, let this week be a week of supernatural miracles. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we'll celebrate next Sunday. We'll see your hand.
and we give you praise. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you for watching today on YouTube. Please press the subscribe button and also the notification button and like and get the word out so others can watch.